All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Mark Jacasey and Ross Pearson. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, here we are inside the famed O2 Arena in London, England. Good to have you with us as we get underway. Ross Pearson is very solid on his feet. Great boxing, nice leg kicks, and he can dish out some serious ground and pound, too. They're both landing bombs on each other. All right, first round is underway. We'll see how long it takes for him to find a home for these patented, powerful overhand punches. Always a big weapon of his on fight night. We'll see how soon he can get it going tonight. Excellent feint with the kick. Both guys just trying to figure each other out now. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Lands the inside leg kick there. Nice outside leg kick there. Swung with a haymaker. Nice kick to the body. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Caught him with a punch. Oh, Jacasey gets hit by that leg kick. Inside lead kick is there. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Jacason. Went for the inside leg kick. Effective strike there by Pearson. And it lands. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Misses a huge hook to the head. Oh, yeah, these are, what did you say about hook. my mother punches? We'll see if you can follow oh. it up. Oh, big left. Well, oh, this could be it right here. Big straight punch. Starting off this round, you got to think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. He hit him with the hook. Nice punch there by Jacasey. Good punch. Just misses there with the left. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Pearson. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He got tagged there. Pearson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, Jacasey gets caught by the inside leg kick. Pearson looking to jab his way into striking range here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh man, with that right leg kick. 
And he's looking for that left. Nice. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and tries to avoid further damage to the midsection moving forward. How about that chin? Oh, beautiful, beautiful kick to the body. Effective use of the jab there by Ross Pierce. And he lands a nice kick. Vicious oh, left hand. A huge left hand. <laughs> Jacasey shot is blocked. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Well, he's got a strong jab. Miss with it there, though, Joe. Ten minutes in the books. Third round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Man, I could watch this guy all day. He continues to land a high number of strikes, just as he did in the previous round. And at least to my amateur eyeballs, Joe, he's not showing any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, double jab there by Jacason. Huge uppercut misses. Nice punch by Pearson. Jacasey gets caught with that punch. Tags him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, Joe. Really starting to pile up when it comes to the body strikes in the latter stages of this fight. Inside leg kick is there by Ross Pierce, and he connects with the punch. Under three minutes to go here in our third and final round. Both men landing in that exchange. He got hit with the left hook. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Blocks that strike. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Blocks the shot. That one hurt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Pearson. Left hand. Pearson's lower jaw now, Joe, starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh, flying knee! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. He lands the head kick. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Good punch. Try to establish that jab. Wow! Oh! What a fight. All right, so this one will go to a decision, and this one might receive some bonus money as well. Close fight. Both fighters went toe-to-toe -to -toe in the center of the octagon. A lot of significant strikes landed on both sides. We are very curious to see how the judges saw this one. Round three, look at the explosion in this flying knee, and it lands right on the money. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Mark Bocasher Diakase. All right, so there he is, your winner tonight by way of decision. So he didn't get the finish that he was looking for, but he will certainly take the nod there and the accompanying win, Monty. Congratulations on one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. All right, coming up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Robbie Lawler and Pascal Krause. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, he connects there. And he connects with the punch there. Nice body kick. Really swung for the fences with that hook, but misses. Well, his opponent's got the read now, Joe, as he lands the punch to the head. He's got to change up his striking pattern and the tempo, or he's going to continue to be vulnerable to that count. Lawler gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Takedown attempt here, Joe. Robbie looked to connect there with that straight left. Oh, beautiful jab there by Krauss. Back to the overhand left, no good. That strike will come. He blocks the punch. Yeah, he's timing that jab. Gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, strong punch there by Krauss. Really good body kick. Nice leg kick. Body kick, look at that. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Right hand upstairs. Ooh. So three minutes off the clock in our first round. Oh, Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, Joe, that'll work. A nice straight lands there by Kraus. Just missed with the left there. Goes for a single. First takedown attempt is there. Nice punch there by Robbie Lawler. He hip escapes from the full mount. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Well, Joe, you gotta fault the strategy here. I'm not saying he bet on the opponent, but he's moving right into that straight punch and right into his opponent's striking range. He would be wise to get his head off of the center line and stop leaning in. Nice. 10 seconds now in round one. Round oh. two is next. All right, let's get to round two. All right, so second round underway. A little bit of a feeling out process, I guess, in that first round. Entertaining action on both sides. Nothing that wowed the crowd necessarily, Joe, but your thoughts ultimately on what we saw over those first five rounds. Pascal Krauss has decent boxing skills, but his best chance here is taking it to the ground. He's got a wide variety of submissions, and he can end things quickly down there. Oh, misses with the jab. Kraus gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Nice combination. There's a single attempt. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. 
Krause's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He lands a big shot from the bottom. He's got excellent pressure from the top. Trying to take the back here. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. Oh! oh big right huge hand. right hand! Robbie Lawler, he's badly hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh, oh good, good left, left hand. hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch by Kraus. Misses the takedown. As they continue to exchange. That one hurt. Effective punch there by Law. Look at that nasty jab. They clinch up. Krause has got double underhooks now. One underhook here. Oh, now the hook in the clinch by Lawler. Locks up the plum. Oh, he got tagged. He got hurt bad. This could be it. Lands for him there. Looking for the left hook. Oh, nice punch there by Krebs. 20 seconds to go round two. Tying him up here in the clinch. And from here, transitions to the Muay Thai clinch. That knee might have landed there. Two rounds in the books. Here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. He's definitely gonna wanna start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Switching southpaw. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Nice punch there by Kraus. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but not really stringing them together and putting combinations on his opponent. He's got to mix up his strikes, change his tempo a little bit, and try to get his opponent out of there by landing more than just one strike at a time. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Kraus. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Big punch. Lawler gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave him up. Good combination there. Oh! He's in big trouble. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Looking to land the right just out of range. Nice body kick there. Back to the jab now, no good. How about that shin? 
30 seconds now to go. Oh, good oh, he hurt him. He hurt him. That one hurt oh. him badly. But that one really hurt him. Oh, wow. My wow. Beautiful KO victory pulled off late in the fight. Yeah, Joe, an excellent job staying aggressive there late in the fight and keeping this one out of the judges' hands. You never know what the scorecards were going to read, and that was a huge shot, landed cleanly, hurt his opponent badly, clearly. Nice to see these guys fighting tonight, looking for the finish at all times. Look at this. Crank right on the jaw. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 41 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hasbro! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between the skyscraper Stefan Struve and Andre Arlovsky. You ready to fight? You ready? And we are underway. Just misses with the jab there. Tagged him. And he connects there. Straight right hand, no good. Effective strike there by Arlovsky. This is a this is a bit of a chess battle here. Oh, nice strike landed there by Arlovsky. Well, he eats a punch to the head there, Joe, and he would be wise to get his head off of that center line. It's almost as if he's moving straight into that punch. Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Clipped him with the right hand there. And he lands the knee to the body now. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Jab there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. That landed. Great exchanges. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Struve gets tagged yet again. It's hard to remember a fight in which he has been hit this often. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Struve gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Clean punch. Check that kick. Outstanding kick there by Arlovsky. Struve lands a jab there. Blocks that kick to the body. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Oh, that was a nice one. Just misses with the straight right. 45 seconds remain in the round. seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. 
And now starting to snap off that jab. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Five minutes in the books. Second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Andre Olaski is one of the most athletic guys to ever step into the octagon. And as a heavyweight, his emotion is so good and so quick. Struve gets caught with that punch. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Place knee there by the skyscraper, Stefan Struve. Well, his opponent found an opening there to the body. Nice hook shot there, but as he leans... Oh! Oh, that one hurt him. Oh, he continues to effectively use his jab here, much like he did in the previous round, Joe. And he connects there. Arlovsky's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. How about that shin? Whoa! He hurt him! Oh, very nice. Arlovsky's in trouble! We have just reached the midway point of the fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Kick to the body by the pit bull. Under two minutes to go. Nice hook. Joe, pretty well played there to avoid the clinch. Straight right hand now just misses. Nice jab. He landed that inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful combination. He blocks the shot. Ooh. Under a minute to go. Lunges forward with a left there. That's a good strike there by Struve. Very nice kicks. 30 seconds to go in round two. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Wow! And another one, he's in trouble. Wow. Things just got real interesting. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Pretty nice leg kick there, Joe. Good work on the feet by Struve. Watch the shot here, Joe. Damaging strike there. Swing and a big miss by Arlovsky. Struve gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. The knee is blocked there. Nice defense by Arlovsky. Wow! Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, big right hand there. Under three minutes now to go in this third and final round. Both guys landing big shots. Oh, stunning jab. Oh, he is starting to put a lot more pressure on his opponent here, Joe. A lot lighter on his feet these last couple rounds of this fight. Oh. He's in trouble right now. Whoa. He hurt him. The skyscraper 
Piper trying to finish. Body kick, look at that. Oh. Nice knee. Oh. Excellent exchange there. Big oh, elbow beautiful there. elbow. The left hook hits home. Jab. We gotta fight, folks. Oh, oh he the huge right oh. hand! He is rocked. Oh, he might be out. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Really through. Oh, he tagged him. He's clearly hurt. Oh. Oh, very nice. Nice jab. Arlovsky's cut is only getting worse here, Joe. Man, is that thing blue. What a fight! Well, certainly one of the better fights here tonight, and it lives to hear that final horn. Close fight. Both fighters had their moments, and they were standing on a napkin at times in the center of that octagon. Both landing significant strikes, one after the next. Let's see who the judges saw as the rightful winner of this one. Round three, look at the force behind this kick that slams into the body. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Andre the Pitbull Olowski. Well, what a moment for this young fighter here tonight as he gets the nod by way of decision. I thought both fighters had their moments in the fight, but in the end, he was the better fighter tonight and deserved to get the nod. And this is going to be a confidence builder for him moving forward, I would think, as well. I think his skills are starting to turn that proverbial corner, and we'll see if he can take his game to the next level as he moves forward here in the UFC. It's a middleweight matchup between Chris Weidman and Talish Latis. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, good to have you with us, and right on time, I might add, as we get underway here at the O2 Arena in London. Latis, a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the Welton Hibero. Joe with the oh man. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Full guard. Definitely looking for that arm bar. Throws the other leg over the face. Look at this. Oh, oh. high amplitude slam there. Beautiful job defensively to fend off the arm bar and slam his opponent to the canvas. Good shot to the body. Weidman immediately closes the gap. Double underhooks in the clinch. They're down. Beautiful sweep. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. He pops out of the rear naked choke. Reversal here and in the full guard. He's got the leg over the shoulder. Now, he's gonna pull down on his shin. He got out of the triangle. He's gonna try to take the back. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Oh, hammer fist here by Lakes. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Sweet reversal. Oh, this is not good. Look at this. He's out of it. Effective punch there by what? Oh, he gets reversed. 
into the mount. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. He's posturing up here. Under a minute to go. Into full guard again. He's going to attack with a Kimura. Got the double wrist lock position. He popped out of the Kimura. 30 seconds now to go in the round. He's looking to take the back. He gets in a full guard here. Oh, reversal. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Not a ton going on. Oh, lands that punch. Now he goes for the single leg. Oh, and down. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Good control, postures up. He's got full guard here. Going for an arm bar now. All right, he's in full guard here. He's looking for an arm bar. What he needs to do, first of all, pin one, and he gets out. I thought he was gonna have to tap, wow. Working from full guard here. And he reverses position. Just over three minutes to go. Excellent movement here on the ground. Latest gets in the clinch. Double underhooks now, Joe. Latest is able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. It. Shoulder strikes. Latest has got double underhooks. There's a good knee to the body. Oh, he's got to be careful here. Hook in the clinch there by Talish Latis. Over under hooks here. Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. He's inside control here. He moves to the mounted crucifix now. This is nasty. Cracks oh. him there with the right hand. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Full side control. Working from the mounted crucifix. Under a minute. Now to go in round two. He hits him with a hammer fist. Kimura. Ford. And he escaped from the Kimura. Lands a strike there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. 30 seconds to go in the round. Chris Weidman on fire with these takedowns tonight. Oh, absolutely, Joe. His take. We got for the arm. We got for the arm. He yanked out of the Kimura. Hammer fist here by the All-American Weidman. Oh. All right, that's the end oh. of round number two. Stop, stop, stop. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. And there's a good shot by Weidman. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh, oh how about the slam, Joe? And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nice punch to the body. Looking for the rear naked. Nicely done. Excellent.
excellent sweep winds up in guard. And gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Look at this. He's going to lock him up in a triangle. Throw that leg down. Push the arm across the face. Pull down on the head. Stunning. And really Stunning. And he really made it look easy. Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was going to look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number three. Recurring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke. Talish Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved. All right, coming up next, a matchup at 205 pounds between Corey Anderson and Glover Teixeira. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. All right, so here is Glover Teixeira as we get going with round one. The majority of Teixeira's knockout wins have come in round one. That is the focus tonight. We'll see if he can add to that total and make for a short night at the office yet again. Nice punch by Anderson. All right, first round is underway, and no surprise that his opponent's guard is high. He has done his homework. He has watched film. You know about these powerful overhand punches, a big part of his game plan every time out. We'll see if he can get it going here early in this round. Effective punch there by Teixeira. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Oh, nice. Straight right, he misses. Anderson gets in the clinch. Oh, he worked hard for it. He's now got double underhooks in the clinch. Tying up in the clinch here. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice punch by Tashir. Taken down by Anderson. Nice. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. Switching stances here. Nice jab there by Anderson. his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, that punch will count. Landed flush. That one hurt. Oh, tags him with the jab on the counter. Oh, nice leg kick. Back to the well with another takedown attempt here. It's good. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Beautiful punch. Over under now, Joe. 
Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot to be. And again, he lands another takedown there. So really scoring points here, and the takedowns are starting to pile up, taking this fight exactly where he thought he could and exactly where he wants it to be. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. That oh, one sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Ready, fight. Ready. Second oh, round underway. Yeah. All right, so here we go with round two. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge, right? A difficult round to score. We will see though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Global Teixeira is a world-class fighter and a longtime training partner of the great Chuck Liddell. He has brutal one-punch knockout power, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and very solid wrestling skills as well. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Exactly. Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. Anderson gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Anderson. And lose it to half guard. And that left hook landed on the button. Hand speed, man. And he gets the clinch. All right, so he takes him down yet again with relative ease. So that's his first takedown of this round. Certainly realized a lot of success with it in the previous round. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, and he connects there. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Anderson gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. And he lands another jab here. It's really been a jab-heavy attack here in round two. Didn't really see much of it in round one, but round two, a different story. Absolutely. Continues to eat power shots here. Nice straight right. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. These guys are swinging. Beautiful timing with the left hand. Oh, big shots. Woo, woo, look at that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second. God, look at that takedown, man. Full guard now. To share his lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Oh, nice strike for him on the ground here, Joe. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Look at that. Nice. Now he's got over on. Double underhooks. We'll see what he can do with it. 20 seconds to go round two. with these. Now the opponent is getting up quickly, but no doubt these takedowns are starting to add up. Third round underway. All right, so the next round is underway. A little bit oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. We go! Hard hook to the head. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening, and everything has worked off of that patented jab. He has had that in his opponent's mug all night long. Absolutely. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. And again, Joe, he's showing a vulnerability to that jab, leaning right into his opponent's striking range and leaving his head wide open to absorb damage. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here. Three minutes now to go in round three. Lands a punch. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Right hand forward now, switching to southpaw. 
Oh, and see, there it is. You know the overhand's coming, as we suggested, but you still can't stop it. Landed it beautifully there, and a nice setup to boot. All right, hammer fist here by Anderson. He's pounding him. He postures into place. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this one. Oh, he tagged him! Into the back. And he connects there, Joe. Moves to full guard. Big body punch. Throwing that jab, no good. How about that shin? Yeah, here he goes again. Oh, he's got him down. Good punch. Full guard here. And he's softening him up with elbows. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. Side control, very nicely done. Half guard. All right, so this fight will go to a decision. We should have a clear winner in this one. You never know with those scorecards, of course, but in all likelihood, this will be a unanimous decision after a most dominant effort here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Loper Teixeira. Well, he didn't get the finish. He has to settle for the decision nod, but you can be sure he will take it after a pretty outstanding performance here tonight. Doubles up his money, gets the win money as well, and also has set himself up now for a massive fight moving forward. So congratulations to that young fighter on one of the biggest wins of his UFC tenure here tonight. All right, coming up next, a light heavyweight matchup between Mauricio Shogun Hua and Anthony Johnson. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, it's always been a huge market for the MMA leader, and we are always glad to come back. They have rolled out the welcome mat tonight as we get underway from the O2 Arena here in London, England. All right, so here is Shogun Hua, early round one. We'll see if the legend can add to his legacy here tonight, experiencing sort of a career resurgence. We'll see how he approaches this challenge early tonight. Joe, your thoughts on what we might see here early? Anthony Rubble Johnson is known for his knockout power, but keep an eye out for his takedowns. Trademark inside leg kick there by Johnson. Hua gets caught with that punch. Oh, both men exchange. That oh. would appear to stun him. He is hurt here. Oh, very nice. Big Beautiful body, body shot. shot there, too. Huge uppercut misses. Nice leg kick. And we got a fight on our hands. about that shin. Hard straight punch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Nice straight right. Another one. Another one. 
Oh, big shot. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. There's a takedown. He's got to protect himself from the ground and pound, though. Excellent movement here on the ground. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. He's now working from side control again. Moves to north-south. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Ooh, oh! nice inside back kick. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Big shots! Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. What a fight! Round two underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Now, the knock on Rumble Johnson has been that he comes out like a house of fire and then slows down because of the fact that he puts everything into his shots, because he's so explosive, that that style of fighting is not something you can maintain for five rounds. Oh! Can he hang on? He's in a lot of trouble. Big body shot, shot to the body. What a jab. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, straight right. Oh, oh, oh he's hurt. Oh, and he eats a shot. Hard jab. You gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. What a wild exchange. Oh, what a leg kick. Nice takedown. And now he's in full mount. Hip escape. And he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Good shot to the head. In the full guard here. Big shot from the bottom. Into half guard again. He's now working for full guard. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Hua. And he lands a hammer fist. Johnson gets caught with that punch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now. Here. Oh, big right hand. Huge right hand! Hard left hand. Big body, body shot. shot there, too. Oh! The jab followed by the right hand. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. 20 seconds left. Oh, tagged him. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Johnson. Uh. And that's the end of round number two. So as good a round as you can draw up. He had the knockdown early. Great round there from Johnson. Huge knockdown and very close to stopping that fight, I should add. Able to check that Good kick as well. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He is in trouble. Nice leg kick. Oh, he just continues to land with a high volume of strikes here. Not unlike the previous round, Joe. And at least if his body language is any indication, he is not slowing down whatsoever. 
Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Well, Hua's strike attempt there is blocked. Johnson's lower jaw could not look much worse, Joe. Extremely slow. He got tagged. He got tagged. He's hurt. He's in big, big trouble. Throwing hard in the pocket. He missed with that jab. Oh, yeah, nice. he's a little wobbly on his feet. He's got to be careful here. Well, Joey seems to have his opponent's timing down. He has landed some good shots, but nothing really in terms of multi-shot combinations, and perhaps that's why his opponent's still standing. So perhaps at this point, he could change up the power with which he throws some of these strikes, maybe alter the tempo a little bit, and try to make it so it's not just one and done when it comes to his striking attack. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Johnson. Big body punch. And Izzy as he looks to improve position here. In half guard. Gets away from the clinch. Really threw a lot of... Oh! Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh, solid jab. Swing and a miss. Wow. Hurt him with that uppercut. Oh, he nailed him. He's got to be careful here. He's in trouble. Nice leg kick. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connection. Oh! He's definitely rocked. Big Fishy body shot, shot. body. Oh! Oh! He's picking him apart. He's rocked. Johnson with a high volume of strikes, and that is what led to his KO victory. Yeah, Joe, just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out again. And he's out. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. And here once more with Ladies the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and this contest at 52 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble. All right, so another big win for Anthony Rumble Johnson here tonight. I have called him the most vaunted power threat to ever step foot inside this octagon, and he showed you yet again that when he finds a home for those fists or those feet, oftentimes the opponent ends up twitching on the canvas. So a big moment for Anthony Rumble Johnson here tonight. Wouldn't be surprised to see some bonus coin go his way at the end of the night.